I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm currently being attacked by tons of butterflies. So about to go for a uh, hike slash walk and realize that I don't know where the fuck I bought this. I just look like a big fat highlighter, you know? Not the best look, but uh, hey, still got exercise to do. So put the highlighter shirt away. Got this one back on. Um, I own 10 of these, so don't worry, it ain't a rehash. These are the kind of soothing warnings you want to see before you enter a trail. You may encounter feral hogs, okay, coyotes, snakes, bobcats, mountain lions, or other species. Well, keep our fingers crossed we don't encounter any of those. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm currently being attacked by tons of butterflies. Uh, it doesn't sound super manly or dangerous, but uh, I feel like I read a news story about a wave of butterflies entering Texas. Like, I don't know why that's a thing. Probably should have done my research, but just want to let you know the conditions I'm braving right now for you guys. Let's go. Beginning to wonder if the uh, hey, there might be mountain lions here thing was uh, because it wasn't a part of the actual trail. Because usually on these like uh, park trails, they have little markers that indicate how far you've gone. And this particular route was supposed to be a loop and a little under three miles. And I've already gone over one and a half and uh, have definitely not turned at all. I mean, you can, I don't know. I was going to turn it around, but I forgot that I have it faced on me. But anyway, just kind of been walking straight. So I'm going to give it another like half a mile, three quarters of a mile. And if it doesn't look like I'm turning at all, we're going to be turning back around because I don't want to get lost. I'm scared. Saved. We're turning. Oh, shit. Must be like what a NASCAR driver feels when they see that first turn, baby. Let's go. Now, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, nature, so awesome. Oh, my God. It's the best. But, like, I don't know, man. This camera's probably not light enough for you guys to really get an idea. But this is, like, absolutely gorgeous, man. And it's just made better by the fact that it's super hot and I'm sweating and I'm the only one out here getting it you know I mean some could say yeah well most productive people are at work right now but uh I see plenty of people uh, hanging out in the McDonald's parking lot and hanging out at Walmart and, <laughs> and other places this time of day but I'm the only one out here enjoying nature so yeah it feels good I mean it really does and uh it looks good to butte to butte <laughs> <laughs> it looks good to boot. So yeah, talk to y'all later. When you're two miles into a walk and run across a hill. So as soon as I get to the top, I'm presented with literally the judgment calls of all judgment calls. Level four is the hardest, at least out here. One way is level 4.8 miles. The other way is level 4.8 miles. Since we've been on the Hillview Natural Trail, I'm feeling like trying the Live Oak Natural Trail just to uh, spice it up a little bit. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. Let go. <laughs> Yeah. 
So play the sound. Yeah, so the live oak trail lasted for like a thousand feet. And uh, now we're back on a paved trail. What a bummer. Well, I guess we'll know next time to continue on the other one. What a bummer. I mean, even if I go... It says Cedar Flats Paved Trail. It says it's a level 3, but like... I don't know, man. I was enjoying being in, in the trees. And uh, walking on the rocks, you know? I don't want to be walking on no concrete. But I guess we have no choice. Ooh, made it back. I think even my uh, camera sweaty. So got in about three miles. So I'm trying to formulate a plan of when I'm going to, uh, you know, right now I'm just kind of taking it, just like get it done every day, um, eat well, stay to the count. But I think now that I'm kind of in a groove, I'm going to set some fitness goals for myself as far as like what I kind of want the general minimum to be each day, um, when I'm going to start ramping that up after what week mark. And then when I'm going to start incorporating more uh, jogging into it. Um, I think the tentative plan is to, is to continue to do kind of what I'm doing now up to three weeks. For the next three weeks up at a mile. And then after that six week mark to uh, start doing a mix of, uh, of jogging and walking. Maybe a third jogging, two thirds walking kind of deal. And then hopefully after nine weeks, you know, start doing half and half. And then maybe after 12 weeks doing... Uh, fully jogging or maybe jogging and running we'll see how it goes see how much weight I shed off by that point so I think I think doing basketball is a good start as far as the, the getting the jogging started so yeah anyway I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog for today hope you guys enjoyed going to uh, Eisenhower Park and getting that uh, hiking with me and we managed to survive the butterflies so that was a positive thing and also didn't run into any didn't run into any mountain lions so that's good as well so until tomorrow